these are all guys that went to the league and then I have to host recruits that are going to the league too. So you know your spot's getting taken. It's not a secret. It's not, you know, if you don't bring it, you don't play. So going, speaking about your college experience, is it, so I know here in Canada, we have a much different college or youth sports athletic um, system or whatever. Is it true that college sports in the States is pretty much run like a professional sports team? Of course. Yeah. I mean, it can't not be. Like, you got to think if a, even for a coach, like, a, coaches are making millions, yeah. right? And their job depends on how you perform. Mm -hmm. So the way they eat depends on the player who's playing. Right. Here, yeah. I mean, you have guys that could coach for 30 years and never win a championship. It doesn't, it does, it matters more. And I think it's getting more competitive here, but mm -hmm. there's also a lack of, of necessity to win. Right, because it's it, it like the Canadian youth sports. It's more about building the overall athlete as a human being. In my eyes, when I watch, mm -hmm. and it is building only an athlete that gets wins and makes money. Like, right, right. So there's a philosophy difference between each side, yeah. of it, right? Like that's sure. what I, yeah. So like that's why I think what the NCAA is or in the states is like the reason they produce a lot of athletes is because of what you said they produce athletes to be to win to become winners yeah. right that's why they win gold medals in track or gymnastics swimming whatever because they produce their athletes at such a young age and there's always somebody else that's wanting to take your spot exactly there's always that sense of competition that all and there's not a fear of your spot being taken as much here yeah i definitely and, agree with you on that I yeah think. cal they had Alan Crabb went to the NBA and Jorge Gutierrez went to the NBA. Justin Cobbs had summer league uh, a stint and uh, preseason stint. Richard Co uh, Richard Solomon had uh, he played on OKC for a bit. Mm -hmm. And it's like these are all guys that went to the league, and then I have to host recruits that are going to the league too. So you know your spot's getting taken. It's mm -hmm. not a secret. It's not you know if you don't bring it you don't play. Exactly. So I think I think there's a lot more of an onus and a less of a an apologetic mindset over there for how good you're allowed to be. Here I think we limit sometimes guys that are good saying they're arrogant or whatever. It's not there it's they they work hard for what they get. So Exactly. And I think don't, but I think it's just a difference with the business aspect of it because it's a necessity to win or else you don't produce you don't you don't get more money for your school if you don't make tournaments you don't your coaches don't go if you don't get certain wins and you don't have a good good system players won't come so it's it's a it's a ac accumulation of everything you have to have wins which is the top of the house exactly